Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 Theory and Prediction video. And today, Tariq reopens the legendary Club Truth in order to use Bouchandria and L's rap group as a front for him and Braden's drug operation. And all hell breaks loose as Tariq ends up being shot inside the venue in the middle of a melee. Could the Club Truth scenes we have seen with Tariq actually not be a hallucination? We will need to know. How will Tariq get Club Truth back in the first place? Will Noma be involved? Will she die before this moment even occurs? Will Carter catch Tariq and Brayden in the middle of the act? And most importantly, who is the person that pulls the trigger on Tariq? This theory was inspired by a comment that someone left in regards to this topic. I thought about how I could make it work, and so I made it work. You can see his comment up here on the screen right now, and we need to talk about this right now. This video is gonna be another banger, so go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so y'all can get this fire every day because this is where you will get the wildest, most creative, and entertaining power theories on the World Wide Web. Also, if you're a power fan or power theory content creator, I'm looking to collaborate with all of you in future videos. I'd also love to get you guys on the weekly lives that I will be doing three times a week where we can recap the episodes together and talk everything power. If you want to be a part of that, email me at n.almighty1991 at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram at Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, y'all. As usual, let's break it down like this. Now, I've already stated in a previous video of mine that the scenes we saw of Tariq and Club Truth are likely just part of a big hallucination scene that takes place after Tariq inevitably crashes and burns by the end of the season. And yes, I'm still hoping for that. I do not want Tariq to ride off into the sunset if there's gonna be a spinoff. And he will crash and burn. But due to the idea of a viewer in the comments, I see another way Club Truth can be used by Tariq before his inevitable downfall. Considering Tariq actually finds a way to get Club Truth back and how he does that is up for speculation by any one of you. We then have the perfect opportunity for Tariq and Braden to do what Ghost and Tommy were doing at the start of OG Power, using Club Truth as a front while running a drug operation. And the idea coming from Braden to use Bouchandria's hip hop and R&B group as a veil to move weight without Noma or the feds knowing could actually be foreshadowing this event taking place. Because surely, Tariq will eventually come to this idea, especially since it's likely Noma will find out what he's doing and he will be forced to pay Noma with interest. Move her way. He will also owe Davis money. And there is also the looming chance that RSJ will pop up to collect at any given moment, including the fact that Monet will still tell Brayden that his family owes her the $2 million that was lost by Weston Holdings last season. So a way to make a huge profit from the popularity of the music group is to give them an event that will be marketed as the reopening of the prestigious Club Truth. 2.0 with a twist. And now here is where the danger sets in. Tariq has many enemies and some unforeseen enemies that I will speak on that he is not even paying attention to or even thinking about because he has so much going on. And the writers could easily present us with the situation where the security at Club Truth is distracted by some sort of diversion or even just a chance of fate that creates the opportunity for someone who hates Tariq and someone who will not be viewed as a threat to slip in and do something very unexpected. 
Tariq will not end this season on top of the chessboard at the end of the season like many fans are assuming. If that's the case, then there isn't even a reason to do a spinoff in the first place after this season ends. Tariq thinks he's smarter than Ghost, but he's not. He may even be strapped at Club Truth, but so what? He will still have to see the enemy coming in order to be able to defend himself. There is going to be an opening opportunity where Tariq gets shot or someone close to him because of him. And I'm looking at possibly that person to, who takes the shot or someone who has some kind of relation to Aunt Dolores and Elisa Marie. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Oh, can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's how I get that. That's touch my ink. That's on the dome, nigga.